Y'all growing up in the South, bologna was a staple for your lunch. Mama used to pack it for my lunch. Used to eat it for dinner. We'd fry it up. Poor man's round steak is what we used to call it. Hey, it was a delicacy. But today we're gonna level that up a little bit and we're gonna smoke a whole chub of bologna, whole chub. My old buddy Andy Curtis from Curtis Packing said, hey man, you need to try one of our chub bolognis and smoking it would be awesome. I've never done it before. We'll see how it turns out. I think it's going to be good groceries. Again, I like bologna. So, hey, let's go, y'all. All right, to get going here, y'all, we're going to take the red sleeve off. Now, growing up, man, they would cut this, and then the sleeve would still be on there. So before you fry it up, before you put it on your sandwich, you have to you know, bite that off of your teeth, and, and you'd have your string coming up. So we're taking that piece off. And now we're just going to come in. You can just do whatever. You could do, if you want to get fancy, you know, Anderson's coming over. You'd be like, oh, my gosh, look how he scored that thing. You know, do whatever. You can do squares. I think I'm just going to do squares. So you want a nice sharp knife and we're just going to come here and we want to go about an inch deep. Just don't cut your finger. Anderson's might pull out a finger, a little half a finger. <laughs> Dang, hussy, what's this? So we made those vertical lines or I guess horizontal. Now we're just going to make uh, the vertical lines. So however way you, however way you want to orient this is vertical, horizontal. Basically we're crisscrossing here, y'all. This ain't rocket science. And it's bologna and we're just gonna rotate this around and i am terrible because my lines didn't even meet but that's okay that's okay Ooh, that one was closer that one was closer look at that jacob see those lines so we got this thing all scored up uh it's about as good as it's going to get for me you want to get your pellet grill or whatever you're cooking on i'm going at about 275 degrees so get that ramped up i'm doing the pellet grill today because uh well i'm feeling a little lazy i don't really feel like doing anything else all right now we gotta get this chub seasoned up. I've seen a lot of people do smoked bologna, smoked meats, just of anything. A lot of times they use mustard. Well, I'm not gonna do mustard. This is bologna, by gosh. We're gonna do some Duke's mayonnaise because state law, all right? So I'm just gonna come in here, I'll squirt on some of this mayonnaise. And then we're just gonna give it a nice little rub, a little rub. And then I tried to get into these little nooks and crannies that you have made. Just trying to open those up, try to get some of that mayonnaise in on that. Really y'all, this is just for the binder. And uh, here I go, I'll use my, supposed to be my clean hand for rubbing this in. That's a big fail, sorry. So you can use your favorite rub. Today I'm using this Cosmos Honey Killer Bee. It's got some honey in it. It's a little bit sweeter. I kind of I kind of go with the sweeter things. So this isn't rocket science guys. Don't make this too complicated, but pretty much, you know, try to get inside those nooks and crannies as best as possible but that's pretty much it we're going to wait for our smoker get up to about 275 degrees and then we're going to put it on the smoker and let it go for about two to three hours meet y'all over to the smoker let's go all right a little walk over here to the smoker a little behind the scenes of fussy headquarters here uh gonna go over to the z grills we're gonna put the chub on maybe right over here on the right side the pot's right in the middle we want to make sure the the heat's just not right right over the chub okay uh, just personal preference. You do it however you like. Also, just before this, I decided to use my smoke tube here. Uh, when pellet grill, sometimes uh, the smoke profile is a little bit not as what as I like. So I like to supplement my smoke with a smoke tube. And all I do is just take this tube, got it off Amazon, be a link below, and fill it up with pellets. I light it with my grill gun and make sure it burns for about five minutes. And then you blow this out. And we're gonna stick this right here on the, I put it on the left side for whatever reason, that's what I like. And we're gonna let it go along with that chub bologna. It's gonna be some good groceries. Hey, we'll see you in about two to three hours. We just wanna make sure we get some good smoke. The bologna's cooked already, y'all. You don't really have to do anything more. We're just trying to get some smoke, some flavor, and that's it. So if we get the internal 140 degrees, so we're not putting no probes in or anything like that. We're just gonna check it intermittently, all right? See y'all soon. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, doggies, look at this bologna. Some people say I'm full of bologna, and hey, in a minute, I'm about to be. Oh, there's a little tidbit right here. Ooh, let's give it a try. Oh, that's good. Dang it, boy. Well, next part of this situation we got here. We're gonna make my most favorite sandwich ever, which is a bologna sandwich, but I've never had smoked bologna before. It might now be my most favorite sandwich of all time so we got our old trusty blackstone right here i got some bread i'm going with a sourdough you know because i feel like we smoked this bologna you know i just feel like it needs a little more something else okay so we're going to do some good old sourdough bread 
I forgot to hit record on the main camera. Since your boy flubbed up, we're going to do some voiceover. First, we're going to get some Kerrygold butter down on our griddle. We're going to put that sourdough down onto that butter. Now let's slice our bologna. Man, look at that thing. Look at that smoke ring. Ain't that pretty? We're going to get some big old thick slices here. I'm talking thicker than a snicker. Look at that right there. What's pretty? Hey, pretty girl. Get some more Kerrygold butter down on that griddle. We're going to lay those slices of bologna right down onto that butter. And man, is that not something right there? Butter, bologna, bread. Good grocery. That's what I say. Flip over your sourdough. Toast it on the other side. Flip over your bologna. Boy, look at that crust. Boy, it's going to be so good. So good. American cheese down on that. American cheese is the best cheese, obviously. Next, state law. Duke's mayonnaise down on that bread. You want to get every inch of that bread. Do not leave any not covered by mayonnaise. Next state law, bologna needs a little bit of mustard. French is mustard. Lay your mustard down. Now we're going to bring our bologna and cheese over. Put it on top of that piece of bread. Just don't burn your fingers like I did right here. Ouch. Get that other one on there. Now we're going to put these over onto our cutting board. We're going to get these things ready for part number... Uh, who knows who's counting i don't even know how many parts this is all right guys it's off the griddle man it's time to load this up i'm gonna show you how i like them so what i'm going to do is i like shredded lettuce so we're just going to put some shredded lettuce on these i like to take a little mater my my, my maters these are store-bought maters didn't want to my maters didn't do so good this year y'all i do a little salt on our maters a little pepper and that's it put your Tops on. Sun. Look at that bologna sandwich. All right, let's give her a cut. Sun. What you looking at? Let's give us a try. Damn. Best bologna sandwich ever. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's good. If I only have my homegrown maters put on there, for some reason they're taking their sweet old time. Dang it, boy, that's good. Y'all, give this a try. I guarantee you'll love it. it. Takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Hey, check out this video right here. I'm sure you'll love it too.